So hi, welcome back. So today's video uh, is regarding making a pixel art using Excel. So you might have seen uh, pixel arts uh, at least uh, by the introduction of uh, Min Minecraft game. Uh, almost all of you are familiar with pixel arts. So anyway, Excel has got uh, cells uh, inside them. So uh, I thought it will be easy uh, to create pixel art uh, using uh, Excel. So we'll try out. We'll go into the we'll go into the computer and uh, we'll try out uh, a very very simple example right so what i will do is uh, i will go uh, initially uh, into the browser and we'll see what pixel art means right so these type of images are normally called as pixel arts again uh, if you are zooming a picture uh, like if you are uh, really zooming into a picture then we will be able to see this uh, particular pixelated pictures uh, again uh, a game like uh, minecraft right yeah if you could go into the images then you can see that uh, there are so many images even uh, if you if you have played this particular game uh, then you might have remember that most of the uh, game and the characters are uh, in this particular form of art so what we'll do is uh, we'll try to uh, recreate uh, something like a very simple example like uh, for kids and all if they are interested or if they are new to the excel then uh, they will be able to do that uh, with these again they will also be interested if it is if you say that uh, you can create a, a art form using excel sheet right so the main uh, idea of this particular video is to uh, make uh, kids interested in uh, something like an excel sheet right so what I will do is uh, I will search for uh, something very simple, something like an Indian flag, yeah, pixel art, right? Something, something very, very simpler. Uh, we'll look for uh, in in the Google search options and we'll select the first item itself. So we'll try to uh, draw this particular image using Excel sheet. So what I will do is I will copy this particular image and i will go to my excel sheet right right so what i will do is uh, i will copy that particular image uh, into this particular excel sheet now what i want uh, is to make uh, this cells uh, almost similar to something like this right so what I can do is I can click on this particular option or I can click control A. I can either go for control A to select uh, every cells in this particular uh, Excel sheet or I can do is I can click on this particular option. This cornermost uh, part over here. If I click on this particular option, the whole cells will be selected. Once I uh, select uh, ev every rows and columns or what, what we can say every cells inside this Excel sheet we can click on this particular option to change uh, the column width uh, width right so if you could align it perfectly then this will be really nice yeah. something like this uh, this cell is almost exactly similar to this thing right even uh, the row can also be adjusted in such a way that uh, exact one-to-one -one matching can be done right once you do that uh, the first step is over so once you do that uh, we'll keep this thing uh, to somewhere over here so i don't need uh, this much extra spaces over here so what i can do is i can double click on this particular image to crop th this particular uh, image so i don't need uh, this extra spaces over here and over here so what i will do is uh, i can double click on the uh, particular image so that we can go for the crop tool so once you get this particular option you can go into the crop tool and you can very easily from here you will be able to crop this particular option right i hope uh, we'll keep one column extra 
so that it, e it is easy for us to uh, get the border right so yeah now we are almost done once uh, you have selected one once you have cropped the image you can click outside the picture to exactly crop this particular thing right once it is cropped uh, we will we'll click over here now what I can do is uh, I needed uh, the exact if you want to exactly replicate like this is a simple example if you are uh, drawing one character then you need the exact count of uh, the cells of uh, of the particular image you are trying to copy right so what I will do is uh, I will click over here and I will click one and what I will do is I will copy this one exactly to this particular row similarly I will copy one over here and I will uh, copy the same one to this particular side also so if you could uh, select these things here we will be getting the exact counts of cells which we have selected so what we can say uh, from this particular uh, thing is that we do have 31 cells as the length of this particular image or uh, as the length of our Indian flag similarly if you select over here here you can see that there are 21 cells totally combined to form this particular uh, width of this particular uh, image now out of 21 you can say 6 are for this particular color right again 9 is for this particular color again if you go over here you can say that 6 is again here for this particular color right. so this is very easy uh, I don't think uh, anybody will have any problem uh, for that so what we will do is we will exactly copy paste again uh, once uh, these things are finalized here we can say that it is 31 right uh, once you finalize uh, these particular things like how many uh, rows are there how many columns are there then what we can do is uh, we can continuously uh, fill uh, these particular numbers because uh, once you fill this particular numbers then we will exactly get uh, the coordinates of uh, one particular cell so let us, I, will, I will show you how it can be done so I will make this to 2 and I will select these two and I will um, copy paste it to this particular again the number is 31 it is there but uh, the size of the 31 is very high that's why it is showing it as hash mark so what we'll do is uh, we'll decrease the size of 31 now it is visible right 10 is good so I will format that particular uh, format and I will copy to uh, everything else so this is not showing so this is basically 30 so what I will do is I will uh, copy uh, that particular 9 font size I will copy right now everything is visible right here also what I will do is I will uh, select uh, these two and I will uh, drag uh, that particular formula to downside and I will reduce the size to something like 9 I will copy the format and uh, I will paste it to this particular area now we know that exactly these are the counts we, we are looking at right so we will copy paste this particular series of numbers to a decent location here also what i will do is i will copy paste these to this particular area right right so now what i can do is uh, i can okay what i will do is I'll not do that i will paste it over here right this will be good now what I will do is uh, I wanted to color this particular cell in this particular format right so what I will do is I will go into this paint bucket uh, uh, logo and I will uh, click on this particular arrow and I will select one particular color uh, we need something like saffron so uh, if it is not visible over here you can always go to more colors and you can select something similar to this thing you can click on ok now what I can do is I can copy the format paint I can paste it over here right this is one option but again uh, once it is copied uh, the selection is uh, uh, undone so what I can do is I can double click on this particular format painter twice 
and I can copy this particular thing sorry right uh, I, I will select this particular area I will double click on format paint and I can do it like uh, it will not be unselected like if you double click on the format painter whatever we are copying it it will be it will stay even after uh, the copying is done so uh, we can copy to this particular area this particular area this particular area so uh, to all these areas we can copy paste this is right so we need to do this for uh, six rows so what i will do is uh, again i will do it for six rows simultaneously right so everything has been copied now this is anyway white so i don't think it is it is having any problem we click on the format painter to remove this particular selection now the last uh, six cells like starting from 16 we need to copy something like a green color right so what i will do is uh, i will go into this particular option and i will select a green color this green is somewhat okay uh, again i will go into the format painter and i will double click on that particular option and uh, will copy these things over here right uh, after the selection i will uh, deselect that and i will click on sorry right i will deselect that and uh, i will click on escape right uh, now what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, go with uh, this particular area so we know that uh, this starts from this particular point so this eighth row 14th column right 8th row 14th column so here also we will take 8th row and this is the 14th column now this is the 14th column right so here we will give this particular color something like this will be good uh, if you wanted it to be yeah this one seems good or you can even go with this particular option now 15 is also the same 16 is also the same 17 is also the same till 18 we need this color right so we'll double click on this particular option and we'll click on 15 16 and 17 then we can say that uh, for 9 13 is same color so 9 13 and this one right again if you could go with 10 12 so we'll go with 10 12 right so 3 similarly 3 over here right this one this one and uh, this 4 and in the middle middle is 11 so 11 16 i believe 11 not 11 yeah this 11 this 11 and something like this one and this one right once uh, you, you have copied everything what you can do is you can select on the image and you can click on delete and you don't need these also you don't need this one this one or any of these right? right even these markings you can delete then what you can do is uh, again uh, now you are not able to see the exact cells right so if you want to see the cells what you can do is you can give the border so for the border what you can do is you can go over here and you can uh, go with all border so you get something similar to this thing right now if you want to highlight the border alone then you can go with uh, these particular option right? more border you can go with something like this uh, for the borders right you can select any of these particular options and you can click on ok right so the border will be double line once uh, you have done that what you can do is you can go into the save as option then we'll go with something like uh, yeah uh, this pc then what we'll do is uh, we'll browse then we'll go to something like uh, yeah, this is the option and we'll save it as Indian flag right we'll click on save similarly we'll uh, save it as PDF also we'll save as and we'll go for the PDF option then we'll save now what I will do is uh, I will go to that particular option 
so we do have the pdf format of that particular option from here you can print uh, or you can even uh, you can zoom out and what you can do is uh, you can go with a take a snapshot and you can copy this particular option then you can go to paint from here you can, you can paste uh, this thing to your paint and you can save it as a jpeg or uh, all those formats like you can convert it into the picture right uh, png is there then many other options are bmp is there so what i will do is i will i will click on jpeg and i will save it as right save so once you save that uh, you will get the exact image as picture so this is one way of uh, doing uh, these particular things uh, there is one more method uh, you do have something like yeah pixelart.com so this is a website uh, online uh, platform where you will be able to create uh, uh, something like uh, a pixel art uh, it is very easy to use and uh, they okay we'll give a thousand here also we'll give a thousand right so this way we'll add it right yeah we'll click on new drawing once uh, it is selected uh, then you can go into the stamp tool and they do have a library of uh, these kinds of uh, characters and other uh, things which you will be able to use so some of them are really nice this this is mario tube right mm -hmm. will have the nostalgic uh, feel if you want to create something of this sort you can have the option you can change the color you this uh, layout is something very nice uh, even uh, you do have the layered option so if you could uh, again if you click on this particular option uh, you, you can create new layers you new filters you can change the colors uh, so so many options are there so you can um, go through this particular tool it is it is really nice so anyway uh, thanks for watching so i hope uh, you have learned something new so this is a very uh, fun experiment to do with kids uh, to create something like a pixel art using excel sheet i right? hope you enjoyed it thank you bye bye for now